Blanca is a botanist studying the growth of bonsai trees. She calculates the growth of her trees as a percentage of the prior year. Here is a table showing the data for one of her trees over five years. This tree grew 8% in the first year she measured, so the tree's height was 1.08 times that of the previous year. The tree grew 16% in the second year, so the rate as a decimal was 1.16. The table shows the growth rates for five years. Here are the five-year growth rates for two of Blanca's other trees. The growth rates vary from year to year and from tree to tree. Blanca would really prefer her trees to grow at a steady 15% every year. It's hard to tell from the data which of these three trees gives a five-year result that is closest to a 15% annual growth rate. To evaluate each tree, she needs to find the steady growth rate for each tree that would give the equivalent end result. For example, the first tree was 14 centimeters tall to begin with. We can calculate its height after five years by multiplying 14 times 1.08 times 1.16 and so on. This simplifies to 14 times 1.73. We want to find a steady growth rate that will give us the same result. So 14 times 1.73 equals 14 times R, the unknown steady growth rate, multiplied over five years. That's 14 times R to the fifth. Dividing by 14 shows us that the initial height of the tree is irrelevant here. Now we just take the fifth root of 1.73 and R is approximately 1.12. This means that the variable five-year growth rate of our first tree is approximately equivalent to a steady growth rate of 12%. This number is called the geometric mean. In this example, we couldn't use the arithmetic mean of the variable growth rates. The geometric mean is a measure of center which deals with the fact that these rates are multiplied. In general, to find the geometric mean of a set of n values, we multiply them, then take the nth root of that product. Blanca's first tree is a little behind the curve at 12%. Remember, she's hoping to find a tree whose geometric mean is pretty close to 15%. Let's find the geometric mean of the growth rates for the second tree. Remember, the initial height of the tree isn't relevant. To calculate the geometric mean, we take the fifth root of the product. First, we multiply the five growth rates, then we take the fifth root of 2.35 to find the equivalent steady growth rate. Her second tree is well above the curve at 19%. Let's look at the last tree. The product of the five rates is 2.04, and the fifth root of that is 1.15. That's perfect. She'll clone this tree and hopefully get similar results. Remember, the geometric mean for a set of n values is calculated by taking the nth root of the product of the values. It's frequently used in finance as well as in geometry. The geometric mean is a very powerful measure of center.